said to make a video on owning a Prius long term. So I got me a Prius. 220,000 miles on it. 226. And um, so some concerns were the big biggest concern is the was the synergy drive, the batteries and all that stuff. But doing some research, rebuild battery packs are a thousand dollars, and you could actually rebuild them yourself for as little as uh as thirty dollars a piece or thirty eight dollars per um pack cells. So I figured, and this one didn't have any issues with that. Um, but it was all nasty and dirty. There's a bunch of dirt over there so I, I washed inside the engine quite a few times probably gonna wash it one more time with a pressure washer um, just did had that code for the flow control valve so the check engine light was going on or intermittently intermittently so I replaced that valve the original Toyota valve you can find videos on how to change that out also changed the water pump whilst I was at it Flushed out the coolant with the super long life coolant. Um, spark plugs, spark pl uh, yeah, spark plugs. Air filter, synthetic oil change. I put about 4,000 miles on this car a month. So I already cranked out about 10,000 miles on it and so far it's been good to me. So I bought it at 226,000 miles, pushing 230 now to over 230. Um, Prius owners don't like to change brake pads so whilst I was at it well I realized that my hub bearing was going bad I don't know if you could hear that during, during turns I would hear the woo uh, sounds so I went ahead and got me some Simkin bearings uh, two of those threw those in because I, I like those figured I, whilst I have everything apart might as well change the brake pads brake, uh, brake rotors so I got some power stop, a power stop kit from Rock Auto. I think it was like $100 for everything. Oh, whilst I was at it, I ended up tearing up the the tie rod bush. Uh, the, well, the tie rod um, rubber um, covers. Because my hubs were so corroded in there that I couldn't get them out. I mean, I almost, I was on the verge of buying a press almost. Um, but I ended up beating them out with a hammer and the new ones went right in um, But I had to take the whole knuckle off all right, so so 230,000 miles New brake pads new rotors new oil the one thing left is um, The transmission trans the CV transaxle oil or whatever it is the transmission fluid some people claim that it's designed to live the last lifetime of a car i'm gonna go ahead and change it out eventually well sometime soon here but that's pretty much it the car's been awesome to me so far so i figured i'd give it a treat um but yeah so so those of you that are considering a high mileage high mileage hybrid i'd highly recommend it you know especially since i got into this thing so cheap and it's perfect for daily driving for long life cooling about 25 dollars a jug from toyota one thing I forgot to mention is, in between the oil changes, <clears throat> um, I think the my Prius is burning a little bit of oil because I put in conventional oil. I drove about, I'd say, 3,000 miles. The exclamation mark um, started to come on. I thought it was an issue with the with the synergy drive. Figured we'll check the oil just in case, and sure enough, my oil was low. So topped it off. No issues there. But uh, for this oil change, I uh, I put this in here just in case. I figure worst case scenario, you know what? If this engine goes, I could always buy another engine, internal combustion engine or the ICE engine, and uh, shove it in there. Uh, but so far, this car's been really good to me. OPS, some part numbers. So for the tie rods, um, the left and right ones, got them from Advanced. Rock Auto is better because it's cheaper. It was twenty dollars a piece from Rock Auto. $58 at advanced got the genuine Toyota water pump for the ICE internal combustion engine um, what I highly recommend doing though if you are gonna well do the do do the long super long life coolant swap or flush but change out the pump before you do the, the flush because I ended up topping off 
I, am, I ended up dumping out my brand new coolant and uh, yeah silly me a gallon of coolant down the drain and here's the valve so the valve was bad uh, that's the part number for the valve from Toyota oh sorry that's the pump assembly so this must be the valve yep so valve assembly so it should be like this Alright, and then this is the, the pump. Some cop magically fit in there. The pump, I don't think the pump was an issue, or the pump was, I don't think the pump was bad. But I figured I'd swap it out just in case. I did have to replace most of the balusters for my HIDs, and I will more than likely have to replace the, um, uh, the light bulb, the HID bulb. Alright, so as you can see, 200,000 miles on this thing um, it's still getting about 40 it's, it's about 40 miles to the gallon this thing tends to lie a little bit the, the trip computer because uh, I don't know why I, so the way I'll calculate it is I'll top it off of course reset the tripometer figure out how many miles I've driven and then top it off again and figure out how many you know how many gallons I used um, also I'm not sure about 05 the year range but I think it's 05 through 09 they have a tendency to um, set the check uh, the airbag light on all right so the way mine had the same issue so the the airbag light was on and the airbag was off and the, the fix for that ended up being well, all I did is I, I found a buddy with a modus computer uh, the snap-on modus that could do the air airbag functions and there are a bunch of YouTube videos on that um, and I just went ahead and recalibrated the, the seat occupancy sensor so um, yeah so that's been taken care of and as I mentioned before the the coolant flow while code was intermittently going on and off as, as of this weekend I got it all taken care of so far I, as I said I'm super